What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to the channel. Today is another hockey card video, and I'm doing another one for hockey goalie cards. And these ones include either one uh, auto card or one jersey card, and I have two packs today. This one's pretty thick, I think I have a thick jersey card in this one. And this one looks like it just might be an auto card, so we're going to start with this one here. Uh, I like getting these, I got them straight from Pristine, I ordered them online because that's easier for me, um, and I usually get some good stuff. Now, I PC um, goalie cards. I think I've mentioned that before, so that's why either way it's a win-win. Even if the auto or jersey card is a bust, those usually pay for the pack itself. I get the value out of it, and then I get all the base cards for myself anyways. So it is a win-win for me because everything goes in my personal collection, but let's just get right into it. So, Devin Dubnik. If I mispronounce names, let me know down in the comments below, just so I know in the future. Uh, Jake's Couture. This one's pretty, uh, what year is this? 1990. Uh, it is a top prospect for Kay Whitmore. This one's a cool looking card. Uh, Joseph, uh, Curtis Joseph. I like that card. That looks pretty cool. I guess you can't really see what I see on it. Uh, save that one for the end. That one looks like it's a pretty good one. Uh, Bill Ranford. Um, look on the back here. Marty Turco. I can barely see the name in that font they chose. Tom Brasso. I do have some of his cards. Uh, Grant Fur. What is on Tops Finest Protector um, written all over the cards, so pretty cool. Uh, Stefan Fist, I'm probably mispronouncing that one. And Brian Elliott, so I PC Brian Elliott. This is a great addition. I don't believe I have this card. I'm going to have to double check the later, but and the auto card. Not familiar, 1314 for um, Jason Missian. Not familiar with him, but it is a pretty good auto. You can tell it was actually uh, him and uh, dual. Uh, I'm going to have to see what it says on the back here. Um, doesn't really say. It says RC, I'm assuming that means rookie class for 14, so rookie auto. That could be pretty interesting. I'm going to check out that one and see what the value is. Uh, I'm not expecting much just because I'm not familiar with the players. So it is what it is, but that's a pretty good auto to have in my collection. Now, last pack here. I believe this is where the thick jersey card is in. Boy, was I right. Not that I'm a huge fan of it, but I will show you anyways. Uh, up first, though, Jonathan Bernier. I think I already have his, quite a few of his cards. I think this is the third one of the same exact card that I have of his, but I have a PC of his, so either way, I guess I got a card of his, even though I already have doubles of it. Bill Ranford, different one that I pulled just a minute ago. Um, Rick, where is his name here? Tabar Aki, probably butchered that one. Uh... Jose Theodore, Tim Shevedale, Marty Turco, so another one of his, um, Tommy Salo, should have showed it first there, Kelly Rudy, I want to say mispronounced that, um, Jocelyn Thibault, and Scott Darling, maybe if I put it right for you guys so you guys can see. And a scripted swatch, uh, numbered 8 out of 25. Let's see what year this is first before I show you. 0506, which for jersey cards, that's what you tend to get is 0506. Uh, so this one here is Robert, not familiar with his name, Robert. Uh, she? E S. C H E. So I'm not familiar with this player, unfortunately, but 
That is a pretty good card. I don't have any swatches that are autographed. It isn't the greatest auto. It is kind of blurry, I'm assuming, because it is over 10 years old that it just kind of faded. And if it was left unprotected like this, where it's not in a sleeve or anything, I'm assuming it just got faded away pretty well. But it is still an auto, but it's an incredibly blurry one. You can't really tell in the video that it is blurry, but looking at it, my God, that looks blurry. I think I'm going to have to look up what the value of it is because it does say the cup, but something tells me it's not going to be worth too much because the auto is not the greatest now. It's kind of uh, lost its value. Unfortunately, that is a really cool jersey card, though. I really wish it was in better condition because that would be probably one of my top jersey cards, but it is what it is. I'm going to leave this video here. Wish it would have been a little bit better and it got a little bit better of cards in it. A better jersey card would have been nicer, but still is a pretty nice card. Just not that great of auto. I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please take care. Peace.